Okay, so these are really, really delicious caramel nut and seed bars. And these are fabulous for kids because you can just keep them in the fridge or the freezer. They last for a very long time. And you can put them in their lunchbox. Kids really love them. I think these are divine. So guys, I love these. Tell us how you make them. Uh, so these are very, very easy to make. You um, get some macadamia nuts, sesame seeds, cashews, chia seeds, some tahini, some nut butter, uh, and some coconut nectar. And basically you just put them all together. You, you get the nuts and you chop them up and then you add the sauce and stir it all together and that's your nut bars, basically. So, so how did you come across this recipe? How did you... Uh, we were looking for something that was uh, really easy and simple to make. We're trying to think of something that was nutty with a little bit of sweetness but not too much and something that we could make quickly, pop it in the freezer for 15 minutes, cut it up and, and the kids could have it. So and the, something very simple. And the kids like this? Love this. Yeah. Really love this, yeah. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Okay, so how do, how do we make these then? So first we take half a cup of macadamia nuts, then half a cup of sesame seeds, then we put in half a cup of almonds and then half a cup of cashews. We then uh, turn the processor on and pulse until the nuts are chopped coarsely. Then you take the nut mixture and place it into a mixing bowl. You then take two tablespoons of chia seeds and half a cup of shredded coconut and stir that through the nut mixture. Then you make the sauce. Yeah. You get a saucepan uh -huh. uh, and put it on the stove. Then you take the quarter of a cup of coconut nectar, one third of a cup of almond butter, one third of a cup of melted coconut oil, one heat tablespoon of unhulled tahini, and one quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. You whisk that over a very low heat until it forms a sticky sauce. So then we pour the sauce into the nut and seed mixture and give it a good stir and make sure it's well coated. Once it's well coated, you get a small slice tin which you've lined with some baking paper already. So you can use your hands at first, and then it's good to use a spoon to smooth it over once it's in the tin. Then you place it in the freezer to set for 30 minutes. Remove it from the freezer. You can slice it up into bars or into squares, and you can store them in the freezer or the fridge. And then they're pretty much good to go. Right? Then they're pretty much good to go. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So if I put this in a lunchbox, will it last uh, you know, for a good couple of hours without melting or what hold it? As long as you've got uh, something cold in there with it. So if, if it's going into your kid's lunchbox, just yeah. make sure it's next to a, a frozen drink or something like that. Right, right. I just I love the combination of flavors on this, how it's you know, there's the crunchiness and the smoothness from the tahini. And then you've got chia seeds, so you're getting omega-3s in your kid's lunch. I mean to me this is such a win-win scenario. I, I love this. So definitely try these and uh, let me know what you think. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.